doing some more spring cleaning here. I got myself my uh, crab apple that I've worked with for, for a while in, in a nursery pot. I tend to keep these in a nursery pot for quite a while. Uh, this has been planted for, for about three years in this pot. And uh, there are a lot of trimming because they get long shooters on them because they're fast growers. So I'm just do, going to do a quick top trim on this and let these, these leaves break out. And this is, uh, usually don't ever wire these. Almost never wire my apple trees and some of the fruit trees and stuff that you can make. Um, do more of a like a, like a pen gene and just let it go natural, clip and grow method. And uh, sometimes these tend to get kind of funny looking. That's the beauty of it. And I usually just like to keep these from crouching into each other. Those long shooters. I tend to want to just bunch up with each other. and I don't let them get too long because I like to keep everything nice and tight. But these break out everywhere. Starting to break in the bark all over in little spots, which is good. And all the foliage is coming out light and green, so a real healthy tree. This used to be really tall. I cut the center stalk out, and you can almost not see it anymore. And I put salve on it and whatnot. It, tends to dry out, you'll get a little rot here and there, but that's kind of natural, and then the bark will break, and it makes it look really cool. And all the bark here is cracking, and just gives it some age. But these trees, when I do these, I tend to try to keep them really clean. Any little branches, I don't try to gin them or nothing like that. Kind of sterile looking. Not much of a style. More of a sculpture. But like I said, within a month, this is the first of April, so within a month, I mean, I'll have shooters five, six inches tall. I'll have to keep bringing them down so I can pad these out, and they will grow fast. I'm just rake out all my garbage from my trees that fell on all this out of my soil. I do have some natural moss growing in here. I'm going to leave that for now. And these trees sometimes tend to, with a nice stalk like this, get some nice surface roots that come up and creates a, a nice semi-good buttress, they call it, I think. Try not to get too technical. I'll learn some of the terminology to get yourself educated on it. But just a fun hobby. And after a while, get some nice trees and it's rewarding. Besides that, it makes your garden look nice. But they can be time consuming. Taking care of them. Doesn't have to be real expensive. Sometimes even just the really ugly trees at the nursery are the best ones to buy. Something that no one's going to want to plant in their garden. You could put it on a pot and put some wire on it. 
get a nice treat. These tend to root quite a bit. And I probably would transplant this in the near future. Just to wake the root system up a little more. Bring my grit back to life on the surface there so when I start watering it, it'll look really nice. my pot up a little bit. Most of my trees, I could just plant them. I don't tend to get too big of ones. But this one, I've actually had to wire in put wire under the pot and wire it through my hole because this was kind of a heavy tree. So that one's all ready for the garden, ready for summertime. 